Welcome, Scorpios. I'm the Empress. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. All right, so just to let you guys know, I don't know what's going on with my fire alarms. It's like four of them in here, and they're just randomly going off. I have no clue why. I literally don't know. I'm going to have to talk to maintenance about it. So if I stop this video, that is possibly why, because it just randomly goes off for like 10 seconds and then shuts off and then it'll do it again. I don't know what's going on. So keep in mind, guys, these readings are general. They won't resonate with every single Scorpio. If they happen to resonate, that's great, 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 great. The message was for you, okay? If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and your rising. Your message could be there, all right? So... Let's hop into some things, Scorpios. This is going to be for January 15th through the 31st. All right, so let's get a quick message here. Let's get a message. It looks like you guys are trying to make some positive movement forward, okay? You're trying to do something positive here, okay? You're trying to defeat the conflict. There's some conflict from the past that you're trying to move ahead from, okay? Yeah. You guys are trying to push forward, all right? So we got positive movement forward, conflict and defeat, and memories of love, okay? So I feel like you guys are trying to move forward, okay? There, there could have been some conflict or you felt defeated about something from your past. Let's grab some clarifiers here and let's see what's what. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we can find out. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have power, okay? So maybe you're trying to find the inner strength to get past this situation. Or some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, but you could be taking on this energy, okay? You could be taking on this energy of, you know, I will succeed, I will survive type energy, all right? So let's see, why is positive movement for it here for Scorpios? All right, so we got the Hierophant, okay? So this is like a higher level of commitment, okay? So some of you guys could be... Some of you guys could be um, dealing with a Taurus, but this is most definitely when you are considering boundaries, rules, and traditional ways of doing things. This is also, you know, this could be... Um, some of you are starting school, going to some type of university or, you know, something to that nature. Okay, this is also the marriage card. So some of you guys could be getting ready to, you know, make some type of leap forward. It's most definitely um, something that you are willing to work at and you are most definitely willing to partner with someone to get the job done. I see working together, cooperation here. Why is conflict and defeat here? Why is conflict and defeat here? Okay, so we have chariot. All right, so you're definitely trying to move forward out of some conflict. All right. You're trying to push ahead, most definitely, okay? Chariot, you could be dealing with the cancer. But most definitely, you're trying to get past some conflict, possibly from the past, okay? So it looks like you guys are trying to do better, okay? Trying to do something better. You got memories of love here, okay? So this is, you know, you're thinking about and reviewing, looking over the past. Why is memories of love here? Memories of love here. Why is memories of love here? Why is memories of love here? Okay, so you're trying to close out a phase. Okay, you're closing out a phase. You're no longer looking back at this past. Okay, you're trying to move move forward from this. Okay, like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, but you're looking ahead, okay? You're looking ahead for brighter days, okay? You could have been feeling trapped and stuck in the past, you know, old feelings, old ideas, old ways of looking at things. You're ready to close the chapter and start fresh, okay? So I'm most definitely digging this energy for my Scorpios, most definitely. 
Most definitely, most definitely. All right, so let's see if there's any obstacles or challenges in your way. Give me a card for Scorpios. So I guess it, I need to change my uh, fire smoke alarm detector. Change the batteries. Okay, so we have five of water. All right, so this is crying over spilled milk, okay? So some of you guys could be in, you know, still you may be trying to get over something but sometimes you go back and look at it as like you know maybe having some type of regrets okay so it's, you have to completely let go of this type of thinking this way of viewing things okay i feel like you guys have had some type of awakening as well and then we got the lovers okay so it could be in regards to a decision in love give me another card what is the obstacles what is standing in the way scorpios Standing in the way of Scorpio. So we have the moon, okay? So things could be hidden or behind the scenes or you guys possibly are holding on to something that you need to release, some type of fear, something that could be holding you back. And then we have the chariot and the two of swords. So maybe you're not sure where this is going to go, okay? You may not be sure. You may be looking like this is, uh, you know, territory that I haven't, you know, haven't been on yet. So maybe you you don't have a you know a map or exactly how you want a foundation laid out for you, but I still feel like you you guys are willing to take a leap of faith into this this new energy. Okay, give me one more card. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for Scorpios. You could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer with that Moon card there. All right, we have 10 of air. All right, so most definitely you have to let something go. Okay, you got to let something go. This is a complete ending. And then we have the queen of water, which is you guys' energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you guys have to... Um, have to drop something have to end a phase or a difficult situation has to end okay so you got to embrace the change and expect things to get better from here on out okay what action should scorpios take what action should scorpio take Okay, I'm getting that you guys need to meditate or, you know, you need to take the time to take a time out to think about exactly what it is that you want to do, what moves you want to make. Okay, give me another card. What action? What action should Scorpio take? Um, but that was the Seven of Cups, okay? So most definitely look at all of your options, okay? Look at all of your options. Look at everything around you. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, some of you guys are stuck in your head. Okay, some of you guys are stuck in your head. You may be looking at the situation like, is my finances all right for me to make this move? Am I financially stable? And how am I going to do this? How am I going to make this work? Okay, you need to meditate. You need to take the time out to think about exactly what it is. Look at all of your options, okay? Look at all of your options. See, yes, some of you guys are thinking about your finances, your money. <clears throat> For some of you guys, this is a marriage, okay? 
Yep, Ten of Cups. For a lot of you guys, this is definitely a relationship in regards to a relationship or money um, or a marriage, okay? I feel like you guys are trying to... You guys need to think about what's best for you. Don't get stuck in a certain way of thinking or a certain way of doing things, okay? You have to step outside of the box. Give me future energy. What should Scorpio do in the near future? What action should Scorpio take in the near future? Ooh. All right, there we go again. You guys got to close this chapter, okay? A chapter has to be closed, okay? You have to specifically say what it is. Ooh, I'm getting that there's other people, okay? This closing of a chapter could be that there's multiple options. Somebody has multiple options. I'm not saying that they're sexual partners, but it does look like that with that Knight of Cups energy, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. It does look like sexual partners or someone has a lot of different offers or options in front of them, okay? That chapter has to be closed. I'm sensing that there's something more, something that's better for you on the horizon, okay? All right, Scorpios, I hope this reading was helpful. And if it was, guys, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share with your family and friends. And if you're new, click that bell to subscribe. All right, until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.